Hi everybody, welcome back to part three of my uh, video analysis of a game that I played. Uh, so this was the last uh, position that we looked at in the game. Um, from this position, I play my king up to g3. Uh, he plays his king over to g5. And I just start pushing my pass pawn. Uh, there's no way that he's going to be able to stop this. Uh, but uh, he decided to play all the way through to the checkmate. Um, he checks me with his pawn. I fall back. Uh, he's able to bring his king over, but from this position, he can't make any more progress. Uh, he doesn't have a dark square bishop to kick my king off of that square that he's on, uh, h2. And, you know, he is able to push the pawn down to h3, but from there, there's no more progress that he can be made, and I'm going to promote in three moves. From here, I push up to a6, he pushes down to h3, uh, a7, king down to f3, and I promote. Uh, he plays f5, and I capture en passant. Uh, he plays uh, king to e4, and from this position, uh, again, since this was a blitz match, I don't know exactly what I was, uh, how, how much time I had left. Uh, I'm pretty sure that what I was thinking was two queens will be easier to checkmate with than uh, one queen, but obviously I have more than sufficient mating material. Uh, a variation that I could have played is if uh, I bring my bishop down to e5, um, let's say he plays king to f5, I play my king up to g3. I can't go too far from the h3 square uh, because it is a passed pawn and I don't want to have any problems. Uh, but then he can play g5 with his king, uh, queen g8 check, king goes to h6, uh, bishop f4 check, king can only go to h5, and then that's checkmate. That's just one variation. There are uh, many others uh, that I looked at, but I'm not going to include in this video because uh, the main idea is that I did not need to promote to uh, win the game, but I did just because, uh, again, at the time I was thinking it would it would be easier that way. Uh, so I push. Uh, he captures the pawn. I check. Uh, he goes to e3 with his king. Um, I capture the bishop, but uh, again, I didn't have to. Uh, one move that I could have played that would have ended uh, the game much faster would have been bishop to a7. Uh, the king can go to d2. Uh, I hit a check with queen to b4. King goes to c2. Bishop d4. Uh, he brings his bishop to f5. I hit the check uh, queen to b2. He moves down to d1. I reposition my bishop to deliver the uh, coup de gras. And uh, he blocks with his bishop to c2. But then I hit a check. Uh, he blocks. I capture a check. He goes over d1, queen d2 check, king f1, queen f2 check. That would have been uh, one, again, one variation that uh, I could have played. Um, instead, though, I captured the bishop. Uh, he moves over to d3. Um, again, bringing down the bishop here would not have been a bad move just to get it more active in the game. Uh, but as it is, I promoted to another queen. Um, from here, he pushes down his pawn uh, to d4. I capture the pawn on h3 check. Uh, king to e4. Queen to f4 check. King to d5. Uh, a faster checkmate from here would have been uh, queen to b3 check. King only has one of two moves, and it doesn't matter which one uh, he plays. He can either go to... Uh, c5 or c6, but he's going to be checkmated on the next move. For example, if he goes to c5, queen to d6, uh, checkmate. Um, same thing if he goes over to uh, c6. But that wasn't what I played in the game. Again, flustered, not very good at end games. I hope to get better. Um, I play queen to d3. Uh, he plays pawn d5. I capture. Uh, he plays king to c6. I capture his final pawn. Uh, king to uh, b7, he's going to get my bishop, but I obviously don't need it at this point. And this is actually how the game ended.
So uh, this is my first chess video. Uh, I'm very uh, open to any comments or uh, anything that anybody has to point out. Um, as I said, I will include the PDF from the video uh, in the comments section of uh, all three parts of this video so that if anybody wants to, they can crunch the PDF in their own chess engines. But as I said in the beginning of the first video, I don't use chess engines. I just analyze the games myself to see what I can come up with. Uh, I just kind of do it old school style. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.